Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I am Van. We are all the LFR family. Thank y'all so much for clicking play. Hopefully, you click that like button as well. We are about to have a good time over here. Um, it might be, it's going to be a good time for us, but it ain't going to be a good time for Respucia Latimer, aka Letitia James. Um, and guys, I'm not I'm not super excited because somebody's about to get sued or somebody's about to be in trouble. Nah, I don't. I, don't, I wish it was another way to handle this. To be honest with you, I wish it was a much better way to handle this. Um, what's up, Reds? Yeah, I wish it was a much better way to handle this, but unfortunately, and fortunately, the roosters, the chickens have come home to roost. I think that's how I go. The chickens have come home to 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 do their thing. You know what I mean? And I I know y'all seen the thumbnail, and you see what could potentially happen. But uh, Rama, it is officially her turn. It's her turn now, baby. <laughs> but first, before we move into this bad boy, I just want to say, what's up, guys? Uh, Sam, what's up? Robert, what's up? Red's mom, what's up? Stephanie, Willie, what's up? 01010BE, Wagwan. Peggy, what's up? Man, things are about to go down, man. I want to say thank y'all again for all the birthday wishes. Y'all are absolutely phenomenal. So underscore family, what's up? Daniel, what's up? Um, DK Toad, what's up? Um, YB, Y, okay. Whitey, best day ever. What's up? Lisa Marie, Hazel Eyes, well gone. Shout out to all of my blues, man. I love y'all. Y'all are dope. Y'all are always here for, brother. I appreciate that. Just want y'all to know that. I really appreciate that. Stephen Willie, what's up? Dennis, the great, the art guy, what's up? Daniel, what's up? Great Britain, what's up? Mad Krishna, what's up? Susie Q, what's up? What's up, Chris? That's her, that's her lovely husband. That's her better half. What's up? Beat Boy, what's up? Will, what's up? Shout out to all you guys, man. I want to just say thank y'all so much for pulling up. And again, I want to say thank y'all so much for the birthday wishes that y'all have been giving me um, yesterday and the day before that. My birthday was actually the day before that on the 25th. Turned 46 years old. It was a beautiful birthday. And I'm the type of person where I don't really celebrate my birthday too much. Not sure why. It is what it is, but I celebrate everybody else to make sure that they are loved and um, and they feel they feel um, um, special on their day. But we about to cover something that is absolutely phenomenal. Just want to say that our very first court win of this story and what could potentially happen from the modern Renaissance man. I caught wind of this from the modern Renaissance, man. Shout out to Dr. Ty, man. That's where I very first saw it. This guy, man, he is on his square. He's handling his business and everyone, man. Much love to you guys. There's no price of admission in this live stream but to hit the like button. Please hit the like button. Let's run this bad boy up. Bow, 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 bow. Let's run that bad boy up, man. See how fast we can get it up to. We have 282 people in here watching. We should have 282 likes. I mean, well, some people don't like me <laughs> that are clicking this. So that's not, uh, that's not, you know, that's not realistic that we will have 282 likes if some of the people here don't like me. But check this out. We are about to blow the roof off of this mother sucker, man. Why? Because when you operate under ill intent, karma comes back around the corner and bites you in your ass, brother. Bites your karma will come back around that bend and bite your rate square in your ass. And that's exactly what's about to happen to Respucia Lattimore. If y'all don't know who Respucia Lattimore is, Respucia Lattimore is Letitia James. We like to call her Tish. We like to call her Lily. We like to call her Lolo. We like to call her Respucia from Norbit. Um, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the birthday love. Y'all are so amazing, man. What's up, everybody? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? But before we go into this, um, I want to say shout out to all of the individuals out there who have been reaching out to me with the word coach. Man, we are doing some amazing things, man. Shout out to you guys. Thank y'all so much for believing in me to help you guys move on in your YouTube journey. I really appreciate it. But just like anything, it's not about the information that I give you or the time that I spend with you. It's about the effort that you put into it once we give you that information. Because it's simple, just like anything else. 
But when you reach out, I got you. I'm not an instructor. I'm not an expert. None of that. What I am is a coach. I'm going to make sure you don't give up on yourself, and I damn sure ain't going to give up on you at all. Much love to you all. God bless you all. Let's go and jump into it. But before we do, I'm going to play this joint right here because it's, 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 it's fitting. It's fitting. It got, it's fitting. You know what I mean? This right here comes from my boy, man. Shout out to my guy who is about to, he got some choice words for Respucia Lattimore. And we're going to sit here and listen to him because this brother is on point. We like to call him Cousin T around here. What's up, cuz? What you got to say to him? What you got to say to the people, cuz? Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. We got cuz that's coming through. Hold on one second. When this item already added to the list. Boom. Okay. If it's added to the list, then where is it? Where is it? I'm sure some of y'all already seen it. Um, hold on one second. Yes, yes, yes. We about to have some good joints now. And this joint is messing with me right now. Okay. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Okay. Okay. Let me see something. For some strange reason, my videos are acting a monkey. But it's okay. All right, cuz got something to say to Respucia. Let's go, cuz. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. How you like them apples, Letitia? Letitia, Latrashy James? How you like them apples? <laughs> Latrashy. Let me tell you something. Somebody send this to her. Order in the court. You are one trashy, unqualified, trifling, messy, petty, no good, unqualified, corrupt, racist piece of shit. That's what you are. That's exactly what you are. And you need to be disbarred. Get her, cuz. President, you tried to bankrupt this man. You tried to bank... This... You tried to literally take everything from him. Because you're full of hatred. And because you're full of corruption. And everybody know you racist. Everybody know you hate white people. Everybody know you most definitely hate white men. And you should be charged with a hate crime. Because you went after him, not just because of politics, but because you hate white people. And you literally tried to bankrupt this man. You tried to take all of his properties. You tried to take every damn dollar he had. But you failed. Because the devil never wins. And that's exactly what you are. Amen. You are one dumbass woman. And I already know what people are going to say. Terrence, how can you be a black man attacking a black woman? Like I said before, this ain't got shit to do with her being black. Get her, cuz. This got everything to do with her being a corrupt piece of shit. Get her, cuz. Okay? <laughs> and that's why I called her what I called her. And I'll continue to do it. And I don't care if you like it or not. Because anybody that will try to go after an innocent person, because Trump is innocent, he paid every loan back on time, never a dime, never a dime short or a day late. So that's why I call her a B-I-T-C-H. Because if you are going to go after an innocent person and try to take everything from them, then you are a bitch. Get her, cuz. <laughs> Terrence Farrell, don't, 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 don't stoop to their level. I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm fighting fire with fire. Okay? You, you, you cannot. You absolutely cannot play nice with these people anymore. Because this stunt that nah, they tried to pull don't on Don't mess President up my Trump, stuff. Come on now. They are to don't do this. Don't do this. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You're not about to do this. And every uh -uh. American should be alone. Oh, no. Every American. Oh, no. What happened? See, sometimes Satan likes to get in the way 
and and not allow his 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 children to be spoken to the way that they speak to everybody else. Sometimes Satan want to stop his children from getting their ass beat. No, you got it. Your children going to get their ass beat too. Sorry. That's just how that works. That's just how that works. Listen to me, Satan. You have no place here. Okay. Move on up out the way and let us handle our business. We're handling God's business here. Okay. Your daughter, Respucia Lattimore, a.k.a. Lily, a.k.a. Tish, a.k.a. Letitia James, she the one started the fire. And since, and since she started the fire, she gets all the smoke. You hear me? She about to get all the smoke because she the one that jumped out there and said this. The president of the United States has complained that I'm engaging in some sort of political witch hunt, that I've got some personal vendetta against him, that I campaigned against him. That is not true. This illegitimate president who sits in the White House. That president, because he's not my president, he's an illegitimate president. Come on now, don't, don't, don't do this. Come on, don't. Come on now, don't mess up my stuff. Come on now. Come on, man. Come on, internet. Don't start internet on me. We will all rise up and resist this man. And ultimately, we'll bring him down. This illegitimate president, I'm going to give you the same level of respect that you gave to President Obama. And that is absolutely no respect at all. Donald Trump has got to go. Hey, hey. That is not true. Okay. So y'all see what she said, right? Y'all see the y'all see what's coming from like steaming from her daggone nose. She got so much hatred for Donald Trump. But hold on, that's that's not the video I wanted to show y'all. I'm about to show y'all this one right here. Hold on one second. Because it's important. It's it's it's, it's really important that we see this one right here. Hold on, here we go. We've got to stand up to bullies. Hold We've on, hold on, hold on. Where's the daggone video? Come on now, don't. EV Mux, you're playing games with my live stream. You need to stop that, all right? You need to stop that. Like, uh, uh, let it go the way it's supposed to go. Because right now, you BSing. Like, you really messing up my live stream. I need this joint. I need this joint to go well, and you're messing it up, all right? So, relax. Let us do our thing. We cooking over here, all right? We are cooking over here. All right, let's get this back up. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Don't do this to my dag on live stream. You're messing it up. You're messing it up. We, we need to let people know what's going on, man. See how Satan tried to jump in this bad boy and, 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 and put a wrench, a monkey wrench in our plans? It's not going to happen. Because we've seen that Trump actually has a leg to stand on. He can actually say, I'm, I'm about to show y'all right now. She says some racist things about him. She says that she want to get rid of him because he's pale. She want to get rid of him because he's a male. Well, that's sexism and that's racism by itself. And I'm about to show y'all exactly when she said that. As soon as this daggone, this video, stop acting the fool. All right? All right, because if, 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 did, if it don't show this way, I'm going to go find another way. Either way, we're going to show it to you guys. I'm off of Trump, but I do want to ask you. Wrong video. Wrong video. Wrong video. I got y'all. I got y'all. We've got to stand up to bullies. We've got to stand up to an, an administration which is too male, too pale, and too stale. <laughs> Too male, that's sexist. 
too pale. <laughs> he white. That's racist. He's too white. We got to get rid of him. Could y'all imagine? Answer me right now in the comments. What would have happened if that was a white person saying, we need to take this person down because they are too male and too black? <laughs> what, what would y'all have said? Y'all would have had, everybody on MSNBC would have been out in the streets marching with picket signs and, and, and burning up buildings, burning up people's businesses, burning up churches, because they would think that it's an attack on all of black people. Nah, bruh. Nah. Letitia, you got to go ahead. It's time for you to eat your own minutia that you've been putting out there because you started this. You started this. Trump actually tried to say this a minute ago. As soon as Letitia tried to come at him with this, he jumped out there and he let everybody know what it was. But people thought he was just crying. Nah, he knew that she was being racist. Here he is right here. Lastly, when he said I'm it. under investigation. This time a civil investigation by another racist in reverse who also campaigned on, I will get Trump. I will get him. This was her campaign. Never ran for office. I will get him. Her name is Letitia James. Come on, Internet. Don't start Internet, Normie. Don't start Internet, Normie. Cut that mess out. Y'all see what's happening. Come on now. This internet is, uh, listen, I, I promise y'all I got fast internet. It is, it's, it's ridiculous. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm trying to give y'all the news the way I have it lined up so that y'all can see it for yourselves. But unfortunately, it seems like a lot of things is just trying to get in my way and prevent me from giving you exactly what I've put together for you all. But we're not going to stop it. I mean, we're not going to allow it to stop us at all, at all. Every single every single time I try to put up a video, it starts acting up. Every single time I try to pull up an article, I try to pull up an article before I went live on this whole thing, so I not even have to deal with um videos. And guess what happened? My computer was hit with a bug. My computer was hit with a bug. It said, "Don't try to shut down your computer either, because you might get hacked." And right now, this is what I'm dealing with, man. This is what I'm dealing with. But now nah, we're gonna we're gonna get this squared away. We're gonna get this um, fixed, and I'm I'm not I'm not dealing with it any other type of way. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done. This right? time a civil investigation by another racist in reverse, who also campaigned on "I will get Trump." Here we go. I will get him. This was. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, bruh. This joint is a blur, man. This joint is a blur. I don't know what's going on. I'm really trying to fix this, and I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I really don't get it. Ev Mux, you're not helping me, man, at all, at all. This is, this is killing me, man. This is killing me. I apologize to you guys. I really wanted to show this to you all. It's not working for me for some strange reason. Maybe, maybe God is just saying, yo get more on the positive train. And I'm trying to be as positive as, as possible, but unfortunately, some people need to have their information put out there like that because this is, this is crazy. This is crazy. All right, so let me, let me try to do it the other way and honestly don't even know what to say, man. Honestly don't even know what to say. This is, this is kind of getting in the way of what I was trying to present to you guys. It is, it's just really bothering me, man. It really is. It's, it's really bothering me right now. My bad, guys. My bad, man. Well, let me put this back up here and see what happens. See what happens. This this software is just not working with me today. God dang it, man. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay. Plan B. Plan B. Plan B. Let's go ahead to the next, man. This is this is not working with me. I apologize, guys. Let 
yeah this is this is not this is really not working for me and it's it's bothering me obviously um and i don't want to stop the live stream because we got some information that i really want to show to you guys i actually got to finish showing you the cousin t video that got stopped thank you so much for the super chats guys thank you so much for the support i really appreciate it man but Right now, we're being attacked on the computer. is being attacked. I'm not sure what's going on, um, but I'm trying to fix it. I, I'm really trying to fix it, man. Thank you so much, man. I, I appreciate that super chat. I appreciate you guys pulling up and participating inside the comments and all of that, man. Um, God dang it, man. I got my videos ready. I, ah, and things just are not working the way I want them to go. That sucks. That sucks. So I'm going to have to record these joints in private, which I did not want to have to do. But we're going to get this stuff out to you guys um, the way that I wanted to get it out to you all. So we're going to go back to my original video. And I'm going to show this to y'all again. Hopefully it does not stop or slow down or any of that. And let's see what happens. Sorry, man. <laughs> look, it's stuck again. Look, look, look. They're not allowed. Come on, Evie Mux. Come on, man. <laughs> this is blowing me, man. I don't know what's going on, guys. I promise y'all I don't know what's going on. Uh, <sighs> this was going to be a really, really, really on fire stream, man. We could have hit 10,000. We could have hit 2,000 people inside of this bad boy, man. It was moving in that way. It was close to 1,400 people on the live stream. And then my computer started getting attacked. And now, man, come on, bro. <laughs> this is blowing me. This, this right here is blowing me, man. I don't know what happened. I don't get it. But it's really, it's really pulling away from everything, man. I don't like it. I really don't like it. I really don't know what's going on with the internet right now or any of that. I'm going to try to share this other story. Um, that I came across and they are they're actually talking about how Donald Trump actually have a leg to stand on in this civil rights um, this civil rights suit that he could potentially press against her and we about to see what happens with this let's see if this one shows up properly and let's go to me, this shows a level of Trump hatred and contempt in that particular media outlet. What say you? Stuart, you're right about that. And you said earlier that this is unfair to Trump. I think it's also unfair to NBC's viewers. Uh, these people have a fantastic opportunity to bring Ronna McDaniel in, put makeup on her face, sit in her chair like I'm sitting here, and have her trapped in a studio with lights on, put her on live television, and ask her, how can you possibly defend what jo Donald J. Trump just said? How can you possibly uh, be a, a fan of his and right. vote for this guy, given his record, and grill her every day like a piece of salmon, and have her sit there? And she can't say, I don't want to do it because she's an employee, so she has to show up. So this is a magnificent opportunity. Imagine if we could have John Kerry here. Now that he's not working for the White House anymore, and bring him in and ask him, you know, how can you defend the collapse in Afghanistan? You know, why why did you uh, and uh, President uh, Biden hand 80 or so billion dollars to Iran? And every day, bring the guy in and ask him tough questions. This reminds me of college, where uh, colleges will bring in conservative speakers, and the students will rebel and say, we don't want that person, get him out of here, and sometimes uh, attack speakers, run them off campus. This is the adult version of that kind of misbehavior. I want here we go. I wonder if they'll let her go. There is talk that, uh, of an open revolt across the network that she has to go. Uh, the management should, should act like adults and say, okay, this woman, we've hired her. Your job is to ask her tough questions, as tough as you want. If you want to make her look like a fool on the air, that's just fine. But your job as journalists is to ask her questions, find out what she thinks, challenge everything she says, comment on what she says. But she's going to be in here presenting that point of view. And you can present whatever other point of view you, uh, we, uh, you want to. You but that is, that is the view of about half the country. That, that view ought to be there at NBC. Do you think that Donald Trump should sue New York Attorney General Letitia James? And on what grounds? I think uh, I, I think she should. I saw an interesting little uh, comment of hers I, I not seen before the other day. Uh, she said when she was running for Attorney General that uh, she wants to fight administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. Now, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that, right? He said she wants to fight an administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. And he's about to tell y'all exactly why Donald J. Trump have a leg to stand on when it comes to this 
civil suit. Well, Letitia James, and on what grounds? I think I, I, I think she should. I saw an interesting little uh, comment of hers I, I not seen before the other day. Uh, she said when she was running for attorney general that uh, she wants to fight an administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. Now, you can talk about stale ideas, that's fine, but too male and too pale, that constitutes basically uh, sex and race discrimination. So I think what uh, President Trump ought to do is sue her on the basis of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Uh, her office gets federal money, in fact, $311 million approximately for various subsidies for... Uh, $311 million her office is getting? What? Now, y'all just now said, when he said too male, too pale, too stale, you can talk about the stale ideas, you can talk about him being too old and senile and all them other things that they want to act as if he's just like Biden, but he's not because he's far more sharp than Biden and many other people who are far younger than him. He can get up there and talk about things at mass, um, at, at, at nauseam, um, and, and, and still have his wits about him, but he's not that. But the too male and too, um, too pale thing? You're talking about sexism and you're talking about racism off top. You can sue for those things, especially if you are getting funding from the federal government. If you're getting funding from the federal government, you cannot use language like that unless I'm missing something. I was with the federal government for 17 years. I had to take mandatory training annually. I had to give mandatory training on my, on my, on my base twice a year twice a year so i know how serious this is and if you say somebody you're firing somebody or you want to go after somebody you want to take a lawsuit to somebody simply because they're a man you um you can be fired for that and you can have a lawsuit on your hands for that if you fire somebody you say i fired you because you're a man you're going to get your ass sued if you tell somebody i'm firing you because you're white you getting your ass sued. If you say I'm firing somebody because you're black, you're going to get sued. How is that any different from this right here? Huh? He's too male. He's too pale. <laughs> that's sexism and that's racism. You just now heard it right here. And I'm not trying to add any pepper or, or adobo or be salt bay about it. But I want y'all to hear this again, man, how this, how this guy breaks it down. Because he asked her, he asked him, do you think Donald J. Trump can sue Letitia James? Listen to this one more time. Just one, just, just, just one more time. Should James, and on what grounds? I think uh, I, I think she should. I saw an interesting little uh, comment of hers I, I not seen before the other day. Uh, she said when she was running for attorney general that uh, she wants to fight an administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. Now, you can talk about stale ideas, that's fine, but too male and too pale, that constitutes basically uh, sex and race discrimination. So I think what uh, President Trump ought to do is sue her on the basis of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Uh, her office gets federal money, in fact, $311 million approximately for various subsidies for uh, uh, law enforcement activity. $311 million, y'all. Keep that in your back pocket, all right? Remember that. When you're getting that type of funding from the federal government, you cannot speak like this. You cannot file lawsuits against people simply because they are men and simply because they are white. Sorry, you can't. Now, let me tell y'all something. If I got any black people watch me right now, you're like, man, the shame on you, bruh, going after this black woman like that. Let me tell you something. This ain't about black and white to me at all, man, at all. I get it. I get it. We supposed to stick together, brother. Stick together, brother. I'm sticking. Now, listen, I'm, I'm with the righteous people. I'm with people that put God and family first. All right. That's who I'm with. And right now we have someone who was who was um, who the president, the United States president, this current administration. Now, they can't tie Joe Biden to this specifically, but this current administration, they put a battery pack. And Letitia James back and she ran with it and she got on her bullhorn and she said, we are going after him. He will know my name. That's what she said. She said, he will know my name. He will know who I am at the end of this. And she's in front of her little audience and they start, they start to yell back when they start to chant too male, too stale. Too pale, too male, too pale, too stale. 
And I get it. Letitia James, I get it. You black. You want to start a little rhyme. You want to show them that you cool. You want to show them that you got a little bit of soul, like that you eat greens and you eat cornbread and you eat um, 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 candied yams and you know how to dance and you probably got a fat booty and you and you can say a, and you can drop some bars here and there because I'm black. So I'm going to make up something that rhymes. And, and you thought you were just rhyming, but you actually said something racist that's going to end up with you either in jail or paying uh your own bail at the millions huh and now you the damn joke you the joke you tried to drain his finances you tried to take his assets you tried to embarrass this man publicly this was a public stoning that's what you tried to do to him and you didn't cover your own ass at first you saw what happened to Fonnie Willis, didn't you? Huh? When you do things and you operate under ill intent and you're not putting God first, karma is going to reverse Uno you. <laughs> it is. Right when you say, Uno, I only got one card. <laughs> Look at y'all. Then somebody going to hit draw four. Draw four. Skip. Draw four. Draw two. Skip. Draw four. Draw two. Y'all ever had that happen before? You thought that you was about to win the game with Uno. You yelled out, Uno. Then somebody hit you with a draw four. <laughs> somebody hit you with a draw four. You just now got hit with a draw four, and you did it yourself. So anybody that want to tell me that I should not be on this train going after this black woman because she's black, simply because she's black, let me tell you something. You're slow, and that's okay. It's kind of, it's all right. It's all right, baby, all right? But what you're not going to do is get me to play that whole race hustle thing that you're doing. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that at all. I do realize that there's a whole bunch of content creators out here with huge followings, huge followings, who are race hustlers. I know you're out there. I see you doing your thing. Shout out to you. Hopefully, you get as much people on your train as possible and you can trick them into believing that you actually love and care about black people and you continue to sell them lies. But I'm telling you right now, if you operate under ill intent, karma is right around the bend. Karma is right around the corner and it's going to come bite you in your ass. And if you don't believe me, keep on doing what you're doing. Because you saw what Letitia James is doing. Everybody was celebrating her. Everybody on the left, MSDNC, MSNBC, um, CNN, everybody was talking about it. They was loving the fact that they was like, yes, go get him. Take all his money. I, I look at him. He ain't got $500 million to bail himself out of this one. Look at you, rich white man. It's your turn now. No, <laughs> Letitia James, it's your turn. It's your turn, babe. You the one came up with that stupid ass rhyme. That's what you get anyway. That was a dumb bar. I don't like that rhyme anyway. Because you came, with up, came up with that dumb rap about too male, too, too pale, too stale. He need to go to jail. Too pale, too male, too stale. He need to go to jail. Come on now. Now you about to have a daggone lawsuit on your hands. And it's a good one. It's not something that's made up. It's racist. You work for the federal government. The federal government supplies you with $300 million. $300 million. Now, when that, when that happens, you got to be apolitical. Do you know what apolitical is? Like, you, you, you can't just take one side over the other. You can't. And you damn sure can't go after people simply because they're white and because they're male. You can't. When I started to see some of these conservative channels say, they're starting to go after the white man now. They're going after the white man. The only person that don't have the protection is the white man, the white man, the white man. And I was like, man, shut up. Ain't nobody going after no white man. Ain't nobody thinking about going after the white man. Well, guess what? It looks like they're going after the white man. <laughs>
<laughs> and her name was Letitia James, a.k.a. Respucia Lattimore. Y'all know who, that's Respucia Lattimore. All right? So this is the last time I want y'all to hear this right here. Because if you haven't heard this, you need to tap in. And I'm going to let y'all know, again, the very first time I heard that this could be a um, this could be possible, that Trump have a leg to stand on by um, pressing charges against Letitia James and her whole department that she works for was on Modern Renaissance Man's channel. Shout out to Dr. Ty, because when he pulled up with this information and I reached out to him, I was like, bruh, I, I want to I wanna react to your channel, man. I want to react to some of your videos because you are on point. You are getting this information, bro. Just shout out to you. You know what I mean? Um, he came, he came, introduced me to this information. So I had to find it and introduce it to you guys. And I didn't want to be lazy and just go to his channel and say, hey, guys, look what he said. Look what he said. Nah, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you that people are actually having discussions about this. And Trump, he's, I don't think Trump's dancing around, doing the jig and excited that he can now press a lawsuit against Letitia James. I think Trump actually just want all of this stuff to end so that he can continue to move toward the presidency again and fix all this bull sugar, honey, iced tea that has happened while Joe Biden was at the helm. That's it. So here we go. Should sue New York Attorney General Letitia James, and on what grounds? I think I, I, I think she should. I saw an interesting little uh, comment of hers I I not seen before the other day. Uh, she said when she was running for Attorney General that uh, she wants to fight administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. Now you can talk about stale ideas, that's fine, but too male and too pale that constitutes basically uh, sex and race discrimination. Yes, it does. So I think what uh, President Trump ought to do is sue her on the basis of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Uh, her office gets federal money, in fact, $311 million approximately for various subsidies for uh, uh, law enforcement activity. So the federal money is flowing into her office, and if she is engaged in that kind of sexual and racial discrimination and, and that kind of language, I think she's wide open to exposure on the 64 Civil Rights Act. Donald J. Trump should sue Letitia James on the basis of civil rights. Have you suggested this to Trump? I will, so I'm writing about this. He's listening. I, I, I think he'll message will get to him sooner or later. Good stuff. DeRoy, you're all right. All right. Thank you very much Thank indeed. Thank you, Stuart. Yeah, I heard that, right? Yeah, I heard that, right? So people who are here and just now pulled up, I want to show y'all this video once again. Hopefully it plays properly this time. Hopefully it plays properly. Let me go ahead and delete one of these. So let me remove this one. Boom, I'm removing that one. Let me uh, remove this one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna remove this one right here because, you know, I, I, I want to make sure that this drink play for you guys, but y'all need to see this because it's, it's, it's heartwarming. It really is. It's, it's heartwarming. Get her cuz. <laughs> Letitia, Letitia, Latrashy James, how you like them apples? Let me tell you something. Somebody send this to her. Order in the court. You are one trashy, unqualified, trifling, messy, petty, no good, unqualified, corrupt, racist piece of shit. That's what you are. Get her cuz. That's exactly what you are. And you need to be disbarred. President, you tried to bankrupt this man. You tried to bank. This. You tried to literally take everything from him. Because you're full of hatred. And because you're full of corruption. And everybody know you racist. Everybody know you hate white people. Everybody know you most definitely hate white man get her cuz and you should be charged with a hate crime because you went after him not just because of politics but because you hate white people and you literally tried to bankrupt this man you tried to take all of his properties you tried to take every damn dollar he had 
but you failed because the devil never wins. And that's exactly what you are. You are one dumbass woman. And I already know what people are going to say. Terrence, how can you be a black man attacking a black woman? Like I said before, this ain't got shit to do with her being black. Get her cuz. This got everything to do with her being a corrupt piece of shit. <laughs> okay? Ah. And that's why I called her what I called her, and I'll continue to do it, and I don't care if you like it or not. Because anybody that will try to go after an innocent person, because Trump is innocent, he paid every loan back on time, never a dime, never a dime short or a day late. So that's why I call her B-I-T-C-H. Because if you are going to go after an innocent person and try to take everything from them, then you are a bitch. Terrence Farrell, oh, don't, 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 don't stoop to their level. I'm not, no, 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 no. Get her cuz. I'm fighting fire with fire. Okay? You, you, you cannot. You absolutely cannot play nice with these people anymore. Because this stunt that they tried to pull on President Trump, that they are trying to pull, is sickening. And every American should be alarmed. Every American should be worried about the future of this country. This woman needs to be disbarred. Because it is against y'all. She's supposed to be a lawyer. She should know this. According to the Eighth Amendment, unusual punishment is illegal. Imposing excessive fines are th that's illegal. It's time for her black ass to go. <laughs> her racist black ass to go. This woman is sick. And that's why Trump made billions of dollars. Billions. You failed. You failed. The man <laughs> became richer today. On the list of the top 500 richest people in the world. Or in America, one of them. But he's on the list. Wow. He said, you're racist, black ass. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you're racist, black ass. Wow. Well, you open up the floodgates when you decide to get your people to start chanting your little rap. Oh, y'all ain't seen the rap. Here go. We've got to stand up to bullies. We've got to stand up to an enemy administration which is too male, too pale, and too stale. Too male, too pale, and too stale. Too male, too pale, and too stale. And we will not go away silently. We will not be silent in the face of this oppression. Letitia James, I love you like a play cousin, but it's your turn now. I I I, I think it's um I think it's unfortunate that um that we got to play these games back and forth. But guess what? You started it. You started it. You might want to go ahead and uh, um, see if you can get on that Diddy jet. See if you can get on P. Diddy's jet and, and go on. Go on, get now. Go on, get. <laughs> see if you can get on that Diddy jet, man. Because uh, uh, it's your turn, babes. Too male, too pale, too stale. Hey, it is what it is. Just like Fonnie Willis. You didn't put yourself in a trick bag. Just like Tiffany Hingard, you didn't put yourself in a trick bag. It just is what it is, man.
Shout out to everyone out there who have checked in. I appreciate all of my blues, my moderators, everyone. And I see y'all putting that information out there that if anybody, if anybody, if anybody are looking to um, need a little bit of help on a YouTube, here's my information right here. Reach out to me with the word coach. Shout out to everybody who has been reaching out to me with the word coach. I appreciate it. And I look forward to our meeting that's coming up, our meetings, because I'm setting personal meetings with everybody, with everyone. Y'all are absolutely amazing because we want everybody's voice to get out there. We want your voice to get out there because it's been working. It's been helping. There's been an influx of people who actually give a damn, of people who put God and family first. People who care about what's happening to this country right now and they want to course correct. They want to do something about it. So if you want to start your voice and you need a little bit of help, reach out to me with the word coach. Shout out to you all. Much love. Thank y'all so much for pulling up and y'all should be seeing some more information on this channel very soon. Love y'all. I'm out. That's it. The devil tried to mess it up, but we still killed it. We got up to 2,000 people in the room, which is absolutely amazing. And also, thank you to everyone that gave me early, 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 1 million subscriber congratulations. People have been reaching out to me and saying, congratulations on hitting 1 million subscribers. I just, be, I just want to be early in saying it. And I want to be early in, this, in saying thank you because we should be hitting uh, 1 million subscribers on this channel very soon. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, you go on and do so, please. Thank you so much. And hopefully we can do a live stream or something to celebrate that. All right? I love y'all, man. Y'all continue to do what y'all do. Spread this joint right here. Show people what's going on out there in the world. And Trump, good job, big dog. Keep on kicking ass. Keep on kicking ass, man. Can nobody stop with thus saith the Lord. See y'all on the next live stream. And thank you to all of my, my moderators. I appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who has given a, a cash app. I really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who simply clicked play, clicked like, commented, and, 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 was, and was respectful to one another. I appreciate you. Y'all continue to do your thing. Love y'all.